Hello everybody, welcome back to another GameMaker Studio 2 tutorial. I'm your host Mario back again with another tutorial. I think I gotta stop saying that, that is just me repeating myself. And uh, today is gonna be kind of a boring tutorial I guess, but it's still important. Uh, I don't think I ever hear anybody talk about, the, about this feature in GameMaker Studio. And it's actually quite important and if you're having some issues with like your sprites this might help this will help you fix those issues and I'll just give you down give you guys a rundown of what kind of issues you'll run into so to get started let's say I want to make a really big sprite this building from suits 2 so we were having a problem where this building was a lower resolution than the rest of the buildings and then that is because it was really big and one thing that came to my mind automatically was texture page what's a texture page you might be asking or I know what a texture page is I am very smart well guess what mr. smarty pants you're not that smart because guess what just for this instance just stop being smart so what's a texture page well it's pretty much what game maker generates when you build your game and it stores all your sprites into this page in which into one giant texture pretty much uh, one giant image and it'll just it knows the coordinates of each of those images and it'll load off of, it'll load like your sprites from those things so let me just pull up the I think it's here windows Yes, so if you go to your option settings and in Windows, if you're using Windows, which most likely you are, you'll see you have a texture page size. Let's just turn that to like the lowest, apply and preview. So when you preview it, you'll have a, you'll see your texture pages will all pop up. I should, it would be really cool to pop game 19's open. And we, you see we have this really tiny texture page. And you notice that the building that I have here, which is really big, is at really low resolution. And you can't even see the other two sprites. I can't even see them. Oh, here they are. They're also separate texture pages because how small the, the size is. So, one thing about texture pages is, they the bigger they are, the more resource heavy they start becoming. So you have to think of how so how it works is that Game Maker loads a texture page. So let's say all of your sprites in this one room are using multiple different sprites from different texture pages. That's something you probably want to avoid because that means it has to go through all those texture pages and load it rather than loading one texture page and loading that up and then accessing all the data from that texture page. And one way you could do this is by kind of organizing. But before we get into that, let me just let's just let's just look at how this building's gonna look. So we got this nice building that Will drew. And I'm gonna take object to just remove these events. We don't need them anymore. And we're gonna go put the stock exchange and we're gonna just oh there it is, it's right in the room. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. We're just gonna hit play and I'm gonna open up this. And capture just to capture the footage. <laughs> It'll take a while. And now it should. Oh, you know what? It's not picking up. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, you see the problem? Yeah. Texture page too small. We well, got low resolution. Now realistically your pages are never going to be that small unless you want to challenge yourself but realistically they're always by default this size so if I apply hit OK I think it'll still show up as a low res building yeah you can see some artifacting on the bottom right here uh maybe i don't know if the video will show up but there's some artifacting like under here and 
I'm, I'm just looking at this right myself and it just looks kind of nasty. So let's do this. So when you have a problem like that, you want to go to your back to your graphics thing and just crank up the size. Another thing you could do is you could always go to your image settings here. You click on your image, your sprite, and you just select separate texture page. Sometimes you might have an image that's way too big. I mean, I've done it so many times and you just want to say, look, load that as its own texture page. And then it just puts it on a separate texture page just for it. But you still have to make sure your sizes are you know, bigger than the image itself. So if I click play again, or run, take a while, and OBS will take a while as well to show. And now we now it's perfect. It looks wonderful. Now we increase the size just a bit. Because look, this is just oh hold on. This image is 40 more pixels wider than the, well, 40 something or 30 something, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just bigger than that. So the next thing we wanna do is go into our tools, texture groups, and now we'll see that we have these sprites, tile sets, and fonts. We have no tile sets or fonts, so it doesn't matter. But you can, but fonts, believe it or not, are actually stored as a texture in your texture page. So keep in mind that. And tile sets as well. But tile sets are kind of like a special thing. It's, I mean, it's still sort of the same thing. So generate mint maps. Uh, let's not worry about that. So we have a default group. So we can add a new group. Let's call this. So you can actually highlight that and call it cool. Let's call it cool. And there's nothing cool. Now let's add another one called Cool One and Cool Two. Yeah, there we go. You can actually go into these textures, and then you're gonna click. You can set which group here that they're in. One and Cool Two. Yeah, there we go. So let's go back to our options here, and let's preview our our texture pages. And they're all still in the same texture page. Hmm. I think we need more sprites for that, but I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's just, that's texture pages. Not a very complicated subject, it's a bit small, but it doesn't matter, but it's something I think we all need to know how to handle. I know what, I just realized that, uh, ah, here we go. Let me just share my display real quick. This time, you'll see that we have them all now separated because you gotta save. Your, set, your settings that yeah, these are all now in their own individual texture pages for their groups so that's a way you can organize them so if you had for example just an example to keep here if you had say oh you know level one has all these assets and level two has these assets they're all different mostly well like just completely different assets, which is not realistic because to be honest, you don't want to always have completely different assets. It all depends on how big your game is, guys. Make sure the assets that are way more important to the to that level are all in their own page, while ones that are kind of generic and could be used anywhere. On, a, on their own page as well, so that it's just only like at least two texture pages. So I hope this this video helped you. I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.